Jonathan here from HGM Electronics. We're talking about throttle position sensors and connecting them to the CompuShift transmission control system. First thing we want to talk about is our throttle position connector. So on all of our looms, you'll find this three pin uh, throttle position sensor connector that allows you to adapt this to various other TPSs that we support, or you can cut this off and connect up your own throttle position sensor if it's not one of the ones that we have supported. The three wires that we need to discuss are throttle position sensor power, which is your green with red, throttle position sensor signal sweep, which is the solid green, and throttle position sensor ground, which is your green with white trace. In the case of tapping into an existing system, there could be a throttle by wire system or an existing mechanical TPS, then we would use our EFI tap-in loom, EFIL. This will adapt the three pin connector down to just the two wires that we require, which is our green with white trace, TPS ground, and solid green is your TPS signal sweep. Alternatively, we have an LS1 mechanical throttle tap-in uh, loom, this will allow you to disconnect the three pin round TPS connector that's already on your vehicle, connect this in line, then our CompuShift loom will just connect up and that's it, all you need to do. If neither of these connection options work for you, then the alternative is to cut this plug off, tape up the green with red trace wire to keep it safe, and just tap in with the two green, solid green and green with white trace into your existing circuit. If you're going to be running a standalone throttle position sensor, and that means that sensor is only there for connection to the CompuShift system, then you will require all three wires. The green with red trace being the power wire to power the throttle position sensor because it is in standalone mode. So in the case of, for instance, our universal AccuLink TPS, then that will actually connect directly up to that system on all of our looms. We also have tap-in looms for some of the popular TPS systems, so Dodge TPS, uh, GM Diesel TPS, and a few others that you can see on our website. Next, we want to check that the CompuShift module is able to read the throttle position sensor voltages correctly. For demonstrating that, we're going to use our AccuLink throttle position sensor unit in our loom, and now we need to switch over to the CompuShift setup app. If you haven't already downloaded that, Check out our other video on how to download that specific to your device. So on this particular device, I'm going to open the CompuShift Setup app. It will connect to my CompuShift module. And now I want to select Engine Setup. You'll see in the throttle position uh, sensor area, you've got TPS calibration, reverse TPS, and TPS ground. For reverse TPS, that is for sensors that operate with a high voltage at low throttles and a low voltage at high throttle. We consider normal or standard TPS to be low voltage at low throttle and high voltage at high throttle. The TPS ground setting is used when we need to run it as a standalone sensor. So if you're tapping into an EFI system or a throttle by wire system, so that's where you disconnect the green with red trace wire, then you want to make sure that the TPS ground is switched off for that purpose. If in this case, we're using the universal throttle position sensor, therefore there is no other system involved, then we want the TPS ground to be switched on. To go into our calibration process, we tap on TPS calibration. You'll see in the window that pops up, there's three voltages shown on the screen. We've got a min, a max and the center one is our actual live current voltage. Now I'm just going to pretend to step down on the accelerator pedal and you can see that the voltage is increasing as I move the throttle position arm. This tells me that the throttle position sensor is connected up correctly and the compass shift is decoding the voltages accordingly. Now that we've confirmed that we can start running the TPS calibration to give the CompuShift the minimum and maximum voltages required. If you're on this screen and you're finding the middle voltage is not moving in line with your accelerator pedal, 
then you may need to go and adjust some of the settings that we discussed just previously with TPS ground or reverse TPS. We can just tap on start and then we get five seconds to run through the full sweep of our throttle position. In that five seconds, you'll see that our min and max have now changed to being the minimum voltage and the maximum voltage detected for that throttle signal. Tap OK to save. One little tip that I just want to cover in the situation where you tap on TPS calibration and you get calibration not allowed right now on the little window that pops up. What that is, is the setting under advanced and at the bottom you'll see engine running detection speed. That's currently set to zero. So that tells the CompuShift that the engine is running all the time. And one of our safety mechanisms is that we won't allow you to run the throttle through the full sweep when the engine is running, just to protect the engine. If your particular setup is set to zero, just tap on that, change it to one, temporarily, go back to the TPS calibration screen, and you'll see now that you'll be able to run through that TPS calibration correctly. Once you've calibrated the TPS, return to the advanced area, and reset the engine detection running speed to zero. If you are running a mechanical throttle, one thing to note is to never allow the throttle voltages to get to the maximum or minimum, because it could mean that there is a dead zone at the beginning or end of your sweep. So in this case, you'll see our throttle position sensor is reading zero volts at present. If this was actually mounted in the vehicle on the engine, I would twist it just so that we get a little bit of voltage there, so 0 0.4, 0 0.5 of a volt roughly, just so that I know that at any point in time that I touch the throttle, that the sensor will read correctly. That concludes our video on throttle position sensors and connections. Thanks for watching.